Breaking news. Reports just reaching us now. Nandi Kano's trial has been suspended. But why? What exactly is going on? And why do they keep suspending and keeping this man, suffering him, and making him go through the untold suffering over and over and over and over again? I tell you sincerely, it is a plot to ensure that Nandi Kano suffers. Okay? It is what they intend to do. He has been in um, the DSS custody and the DSS intends to keep him there so as to make him suffer. Not because, you know, they are, they are interested in the, in the trial or anything. They just want to make him suffer. So this is what is happening currently as we speak. Unandi Kano's trial suspended. Justice Binta of the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja has adjourned trial of detained leader of the Indigenous People of Biafra, IPOB, Mazil Nandi Kanu, to January the 19th. Can you imagine? They are just suffering him. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's intentional, okay? They are, it's intentional. What they are doing is intentional, okay? They just want to keep him there, okay? The case has been adjourned to January the 19th. The adjournment came on the day Kanu's team of lawyers staged a walkout over refusal of operative of the Department of State Security Services, DSS, to allow some of them to gain access into the courtroom. Kanu, who was brought into the courtroom around 9.52 a.m., had shortly after his case was called up moaned the refusal of security agencies to allow some members of his legal team, especially his lawyer from the United States of America, Bridge Finch, to enter the courtroom. The IPOB leader told the court that Mr. Finch, who he said was heading, handling a case for him in the U.S., was around to witness his trial. I have an ongoing case in the U.S. I have not been allowed to see him. He is here to see me and to observe the proceedings. He had been to the DSS to see me, but they denied him access to me, Kanu stated from the decks. Asked by the lawyer if he was ready to conduct the proceedings himself, in the absence of his lawyer, Kanu replied in the negative. Meanwhile, counsel to the federal government, Mr. M.D. Abubakar, who is the director of public prosecution, urged the court to proceed with the trial in the absence of Kanu's lawyer. Abubakar told the court that originally the matter was fixed for hearing in an application that was filed by the defendant. He urged that since Kanu's led counsel, Mr. Ifewa Ejofo, who was initially inside the courtroom, walked out with his team shortly before the arrival of the judge, his pending application should be deemed abandoned. In a short ruling, through the justice, expressed her displeasure over the conduct of Kanu's lawyers. She declined to dismiss the pending application and rather adjourned the case to January the 19th and 20th of 2022 for trial. So this is what is happening. They came to court, but Kanu's lawyers were denied access. Where do you do that? Kanu's lawyers were denied access. Why? The question goes again, why? But why were they denied access? Why do we do that? Why are we so wicked to our very own self? What has Kanu done? His lawyers were denied access. The lawyer that came from the U.S., they don't want him to come in. And so the, the, his, his representative said there was no point. Him standing in the courtroom, why others are standing out in the cold? Why others were denied access? But well, why would they? I mean, it doesn't make sense. Even the lawyer, it's because it's Nigeria. Even the very lawyer that is handling the case should know better in a in, in, a, in a government in, among the people when there is a court case, if for nothing, journalists are allowed access into such a building and all that. But guess what? No. Even the former governor of Anambra State was denied access. Even the former governor was denied access. His lawyer that came from the U.S. was also denied access. So this is wrong. Very wrong. Very wrong. They only allowed one lawyer to come in, which is wrong. 
So what is wrong is wrong. There is no other name for it. This is what happened today in court. And um, now they can't, they've not postponed. So he'll be spending Christmas, um, the whole of the new year, till on the 19th of next year in custody. For what? What exactly? For what exactly? What did he do? What exactly did he do? What did he do? What is his offense? What has he done? We must not let this happen. We cannot let this to continue. It is wrong. There is no other name for what is wrong. What is wrong is wrong. There is no other name for it. We must not allow this to go on. So it is what it is. Okay? Nandi Kano was in court today. But they denied other lawyers access. Lawyers, they denied them access. The only lawyer they allowed was his uh, defending lawyer. And he says, no. I also have a lawyer from the U.S. who is helping me, who is helping me handle a case. And since I came, since he has been in, the U, in, the, in Nigeria, they've denied him access. Nobody has, I mean, given him access to me. And he is yet to, to also watch the proceedings. I tell you sincerely, even the very judge handling the Unandi Kano's trials case goes to somewhere to get. So what do we do next? How do we do it? Should I allow the lawyer he, he, like, that came from U.S. to come into the courtroom? Should I other, allow other lawyers? This is, what, this, is the, this is how they get reports on how they should go about things. And this is why they don't do anything. This is why they don't do anything. This is what they do. So even the very lawyer, you can tell that even the very lawyer has been compromised. You can tell. There's no, it's not a, it's not a propaganda. There's no fact case to this matter. Even the very lawyer. So when you look at it, what has Kano done exactly? Who did he, I mean, if you look at the whole thing, you understand that there is oppression, serious oppression already going on, which ought to stop. Which ought to stop. Now the case has been adjourned all the way to January. January 19th and 20th for hearing. I mean, and if you look at the, the lawyer that is now representing the, the federal government, one Abubakar, what do you expect? So when you come with a position where you are ready to ensure that you nail somebody, what will you do? You do everything in your power to ensure that that person is nailed. You will not come from a place of true passion, compassion, and understanding. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like or share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now. Bye.